well another beautiful day and today we're going to have a look at installing some of these bridges for our RCs that we built over the winter so this winter we got back into RC in and and we've got some trails that you've seen in some other videos that we've done down on uh, our property and we built some bridges to go across our stream and some some of the trouble spots so we're not exactly sure where we're going to install them yet but we're going to go down and have a look and and drag them down and see where Fraser wants to put them, eh buddy? Yep. We've been working out other stuff today. We got our greenhouse over there that we've been working on and getting some planting done and stuff. So we're gonna take a little break from that and we're gonna go have a look at installing some of this stuff. We'll catch up with you when we uh, find a spot to put one. Okay, so we loaded everything up in the, uh, the trailer there and now we've got everything towed down to the stream where we wanna at least start spreading out with this stuff we had a lot of rain here last night so we don't really want to drive the bike around too much down that way because it gets kind of swampy but we'll uh we'll get down there later when it dries out but for now we can unload and put them in the stream yeah we'll put some bridges in and uh we'll go take a look at the first spot we decided where we want to put one and then we'll check back in with you and see what you guys think what do you say yep all right let's get at it here we are. All right, so we've brought this bridge that we want to use, and Fraser has decided that we want to get across this little gap here over to that island, right? Which is like a little yep. island, I guess. But we'll get over to that, and then that'll get us. Then we can probably build something, a little roadway that can go down there, maybe install a couple of those covered bridges to make it to the other side maybe we'll see let's get this cleared out first and see what this looks like we got to trim some bushes and stuff and and then get the bridge brought in and maybe put a bit of dirt down to put a little tiny roadway in out to the bridge maybe yep all right let's get at it yep all right so we'll check back in we've been doing a bunch of work clearing out some little bushes and stuff to get our bridge in so let's go have a look. I think we've cleared a good enough spot to be able to land right there. And then the trail will come down this little hill that's here. And that'll put you here. And then I think we might have to, uh, to put something in the middle of the stream there to make those two other bridges that you want to fit in to go across. But that's doable. We can do that. Yes. Let's uh, let's work on getting this first bridge in and maybe getting a little bit of dirt put down, put a little roadway up to it, and we'll mm -hmm. check back in and have a look. And then we need to start dressing this up here a little bit. Yep. All right, let's get back at it, eh, buddy? Yes. Yeah, the bugs are getting pretty bad, aren't they? Yes. But we're having fun. That's the main thing. All right, let's do it. All right. So I think we had success. We've got the first bridge installed there, you can see. Fraser's down in the stream there helping out. And we cleared up this bit of the trail here so you'll be able to crawl up through there too if you want and then go down underneath the bridge. And then we're getting ready over here, aren't we, buddy? Yep. We'll get through here. And here's where the bridge comes out. And then we'll go down this little hill. And then about where I'm standing there, we're going to try to get another bridge across to there and then we'll have to carry on down with our trail but that'll be pretty neat and if you don't want to do that like i say you can circle down and you can go up and underneath the, the bridge and you can go back up into the stream there or we may make another little access where you can come down and get up this little hill here make it a little easier and then you can get back on the trail there so that'll be a fun little loop to have what do you think yep Cool. All right, let's keep at it. So me and Fraser have been working hard, and I think we've uh, Fraser has figured out what our loop is going to be. Yep. All right, so we're going to go across here, that little bridge, and then we're probably going to go down the hill there. That's by Fraser, and then straight across, walk straight across there, Fraser, where it's going to go. So we're going to put a bridge in there i think we're gonna to have to put a support in the middle because we're going to use both of these that we have and then head down that way where it's going to go and then the trail little rc trail is going to loop down through there we're going to clean it up and then we've got this we've put this little guy in here to come back across on and then 
we're back over here on the trail again. So that'll make a cool little little loop. Yep. It won't go very big. It'll all be in a pretty tight little spot, but it'll work for us. Just need to do some more cleaning up. I think uh, I'm going to have to run up to the shed and grab some cinder blocks to put down in the middle of the stream there. I got a couple of cinder blocks that we can use to uh, to bridge in the middle for those. And, uh, and we got to clear up a bit of grass over there. And then I think Fraser wants to bring his RC down to try it out and see how it goes once we get it all done. Yep. All right, then. What do you think, buddy? Let's get at it. Yes. All right. Back again. So those two haven't moved yet. Uh, but you'll remember that guy's in. And Fraser stood where we're going to put some cinder blocks. So what we did in the meantime, we kind of prepped this a little bit. And we've cleared this up so that it's a decent little ride around to that bridge and then back across. So in order to finish this loop now, we're going to put those bridges in across. We've got to go back to the shed and grab a couple of cinder blocks to put down in the middle of the stream there. Because one's not long enough to make it all the way. And then we'll have to level this up a little bit and get that fit in. We'll check back in when we get back with the cinder blocks, eh? Yep. All right, buddy, let's do it. All right, so we made it back with our supplies, right? Yep. All right, we're ready to keep going. So we've got a couple of cinder blocks. Brought back a couple of pieces of wood in case we have to uh, shim it up on either side. We've got our rake for leveling out on either end here. The shore on this side and the shore on that side. And then some dress up work to do in between maybe where, we, uh, where we've been working. But we're excited to get at this. I think this is going to be a cool little loop. And what else did you bring with you? It's up on the bike up there. Uh, my RC. Yeah, because what are you going to do when we're done? I'm going to try this out. Yeah, and see what it's like, eh? Yep. All right, we're both pretty excited to get this done. We should get at it. Yep. All right, then. Let's go. Well, I think we're, uh, we're just about done with the install. What do you say, buddy? Yep. You're happy? Yes, it looks really good. So you'll see way over there, we'll start, we'll come across that bridge and then we're going to come down the hill, probably have to get turned and reset to come across this, uh, this double one here and then you'll land on this side of the stream and you'll take the little trailway down and then you can loop back across on the trail again. And there's the little bridges. Let me see if I can come down over this way. Give you a little different angle at it. So there's those two bridges there. Kind of set up on the cinder block. And you can also go underneath the bridge. Yeah, yeah, you can go underneath that one as well. I guess there's there's just enough room. You could probably make it underneath that one. And like I say, you can come across that one, or we've got it made so you can loop. There's a lot of mud right there, but you can uh, once it all dries out, you'll be able to loop and go up and underneath there. You can come down the hill once you come across the bridge there. Like I say, you might have to reset, I guess, and get to go across the double bridge. You can loop back up this hill right here to get on the trail if you just want to bypass all that, or you can come down that way and get across. And then, like I say, there's the way back across. So now, fraser has got his RC yes. just up the trail up there, and we want to try it out. So we're going to go grab that, come back, and we'll check in, and uh, we'll have the RC next time we're back. Yep. All right, we're back. Fraser's got his RC. We're ready to go. Are you ready to go, Fraser? Yes. All right, let's do it. Let me get in here. Okay. First time across.
Awesome. That's the new loop. What do you think? It's really good. It's really fun, too. You want to turn around and do it in reverse? Yes, I do. All right, let's do it. All right, so I guess that's the end of this video. We're pretty pleased with it. I may give it a go here now before we leave, but uh, what do you think, Fraser? You want to give it a little review? Is it good? Yes, it is good. And I really like these kind of bridges. It's just because they have like a siding and a roof and everything. Yeah, they're pretty neat. I think everything together is pretty awesome. Yeah. So there we go. A new addition to our little RC, RC trail park. We like it. Yep. Till the next time. Yep. Bye.